I'm Pat Duga. In this screencast, we're going to talk about logarithms with a base of 10, and these are known as common logarithms. We're going to use those common logarithms to solve exponential and logarithmic equations and inequalities. And finally, we're going to look at what's called the change of base formula, which will allow us to evaluate any base logarithm using the common logarithm. First, let's kind of define what a base 10 logarithm is. If we have a logarithm that's uh, the log base 10 of, let's say, 100, that's going to equal 2. Because in exponential form, 10 to the second power is equal to 100. 10 is a very important number in our system. We actually write common logarithms with a base of 10 with no base at all. If there's no base listed and it's a logarithm, it is a base of 10. So we would say the log of 100 equals 2. It's implied that the base is 10 if it's not there. So let's use our calculator to evaluate logarithms. And I'm using the TI-84. To evaluate a logarithm, we use the log button, which is this button right here next to the 7. Uh, it is a base of 10. So to evaluate the log of 6, we, try, we simply type log 6 and hit enter. And the log of 6 is 0 .77815. 0 0.7782 to the nearest 10,000th. The log of 0.35 is going to be a negative number because to raise 10 to a power to wind up with a decimal that's less than 1, we have to actually raise 10 to a negative power. So we're going to take the log of 0.35 and enter, and we get our answer negative 0.4559, which to four decimal places is negative 0.4559. Let's use logarithms of base 10, or common logarithms, to solve a logarithmic equation. This is an important equation from physics, the loudness equation. The loudness in decibels of a sound is L equals 10 times the log of I over M, where I is the intensity of the sound, and M is what's called a minimum intensity sound. So if a jet engine can have a loudness of 125 decibels, and this minimum intensity sound is defined as 1 decibel, we want to find how many times that 125 decibel jet engine is over the minimum. So if we replace L with 125 decibels, and we replace M with 1 decibel, we get 125 equals 10 times the log base 10 of I divided by 1, or 125 equals 10 log I. Next thing we're going to do is get rid of anything that doesn't have the log in it. And when we do that, we get 12.5, 125 divided by 10 is 12.5, equals the log of I. Now we've isolated the logarithm. Then what we can do is write this in exponential form. The log base 10 of i equals 12.5 can be written as i equals 10 to the 12.5 power. And what that means is i equals, if you use a calculator, i equals approximately 3.162 times 10 to the 12th, about 3 trillion times. So a jet engine is about 3 trillion times the intensity the minimum sound detectable by the human ear. Let's solve exponential equations using logarithms. This is really the purpose for which logarithms were developed originally. So if we want to solve 5 to the x equals 62, to actually get rid of the x in the exponent is we're going to take a log of both sides, so base 10 log of both sides. So, and so this becomes the log of 5 to the x equals the log of 62. Now using the power property of logarithms, we can take that x and put it in front because the log of 5 to the x is the same as x times the log of 5, and that equals the log of 62. What we're going to do next is go ahead and now isolate the x by dividing both sides by the log of 5. And when we do that, x becomes the log of 62 divided by the log of 5. And when we divide that on our calculator, we take the log of 62 divided by the log of 5, 
we get our answer, which is approximately 2.564. And of course, you can always plug that back into the original equation to check it out. As a check, 5 to the 2.5643 equals approximately 62. Let's solve an exponential inequality using logarithms. So if we have 3 to the 7x power greater than 2 to the 5x minus 3 power, we're going to take the log base 10 of both sides. The log base 10 of 3 to the 7x power greater than the log base 10 of 2 to the 5x minus 3 power. What's going to happen now, we're going to use the, the power property of logarithms and put that 7x and the 5x minus 3 in front. So this becomes 7x times the log of 3 greater than 5x minus 3 times the log of 2. That power property is very valuable. And what we're going to do now is use the distributive property. And so 5x minus 3 times the log of 2 can be written as 5x times the log of 2 minus 3 times the log of 2. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is try to put the x's to one side. So we're going to subtract 5x log 2 from both sides. And that's going to give us x's, the, all the x terms on the left-hand side. Now that we've done that, we can use the distributive property again and factor out an x from both of these left-hand terms. If we factor out an x, we're left with 7 log 3 minus 5 log 2 all times x equal, uh, greater than negative 3 times the log of 2. And so the last thing we're going to do is divide both sides by everything that's not x on the left. And so we get x greater than negative 3 log 2 divided by 7 log 3 minus 5 log 2. Now that's a lot of logs. It's now time to use our calculator to evaluate this. Negative 3 times the log of 2. And we're going to divide that by, and it's important to use parentheses here, 7 times the log of 3 minus 5 times the log of 2. When we've done that, we get negative 0.4922. So our solution to this is x is greater than negative 0.4922, which you can put into the original inequality and find that it's true. Last thing we're going to look at in this screencast is what's called the change of base formula. Most calculators can only do a base of 10 or a base of e. Some of the more advanced calculators can do any base. If you don't have a calculator that can do that change of base, there's what's called the change of base formula. And as long as we have positive numbers for a, b, and n, and the bases of the logarithms are not 1, then the change of base can be written as log base a of n equals the log base b of n divided by the log base b of a, where a and b are the two bases we're dealing with. So if I have a strange base like 3, the log base 3 of 11 is equal to the log base 10 of 11 divided by the log base 10 of 3. Notice how I've changed it from a, a base of 3 to a base of 10 using this formula because I can use my calculator to evaluate log base 10 of 11 divided by log base 10 of 3. Let's look at an example of that. We'll express the log base 5 of 140 in terms of common logarithms. So the log base 5 of 140 is using the change of base formula I can change it to a base of 10 by having the log base 10 of 140 divided by the log base 10 of 5. Log base 10 of 140 divided by log base 10 of 5. So that's going to be approximately equal to 3. 070. Now if I look at the log base 5 of 16 expressed in common logarithms, the log base 5 of 16 can be written as the log base 10 of 16 divided by the log base 10 of 5. 
And if we use our calculator for that, we're going to get approximately 1.7227. Notice I didn't write the base 10 because common logarithms are assumed to be a base of 10. This screencast has covered base 10 or common logarithms and their usefulness in evaluating and solving exponential and logarithmic equations and inequalities. And finally, we looked at the change of base formula to convert any base into a common logarithm we can evaluate easily on our calculator.